Hello and welcome to another tutorial of Current Safe Technologies tutorial series. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how you can use remote burning to CD DVD disk via Icecast target. The benefit of that is you don't need to have an optical drive to do it. You can use one remotely. It saves you time and money because every client can use the same optical drive. To start, please open iStorage Server Management Console. Click on the Create button and choose CD DVD device. Press Next button to continue. From next window, please choose Physical Drive and click Next button again. From this list, please choose Optical Drive you wish to share. And also, please check Persistent Exclusive Access on this device on Windows Vista or newest Microsoft operating systems and press next to continue. Choose your authorization mechanism and press next again. Here you can type name for your device. After you will do it, please press finish button to finish creating Icecast target. As we can see, we have successfully created Icecast target using our optical drive. Now, when we are on the client's machine that don't have a CD burner and we have already prepared some file to burn, we can connect to our uh, Icecast target by clicking on start button start typing initiator and when the initiator window will appear please switch to the discovery tab click on the discover portal button and start typing IP address of your server and press OK then switch to the target tab and as we can see, we have successfully discovered our target and we can now connect to it clicking on connect button. If you specify a CHAP user authorization, you can provide your CHAP username and target secret here. But since I didn't do it, I will just leave it unchecked. And I will connect to my target clicking on OK button. We are now successfully connected to our device. We can access it through computer. I will now burn the CD using default Microsoft burning software. I will do it by double clicking on my drive. From the window that will appear, please choose CD DVD player and click next. Now we need to drag and drop our files here. And after the process will finish, please click on the Burn to Disk button. When Burn to Disk wizard will appear, you can specify the title of your disk as well as the recording speed. After you will do it, please click on the next button. Now we need to wait for the burning process to finish. When the burning process is finished, we can access our files through the CD we just burned by clicking on my computer and opening the drive. As we can see, we have successfully burned our disk. 
thank you for your attention. That is all I have prepared for today. And talk to you soon.